If you've ever built a full stack application, I'm certain you know one thing. Environment variables are hard, like way harder than they should be. Making sure you have the right ones in the right place, making sure that your package is building correct locally and on your server, your build systems, your CI and everywhere else. It's hard to know if you even have the environment variables, much less that they're correct, formatted as expected and accessed correctly across your code base. The goal of this new package is to solve that because we've had this problem a ton too. In Create T3 app, we built a system to make it easier to validate your environment variables, but we realized that, that was too good for just Create T3 app. And people outside of our ecosystem, even outside of Next as a whole, should be able to have confidence when they use their environment variables. What we've built is, and I should also be clear, when I say we, I almost entirely mean Julius. I had nothing to do with this beyond nudging him and giving him a domain, so yeah. Julius killed it on this project. I'm really excited to show y'all how cool and powerful T3 environment is. Here is T3 NV, framework agnostic validation for type safe environment variables. I love the little red squiggly line under type safe really emphasizes the point. Nice, simple site, easy to install. Just add T3 OSS environment core. And if you're using next, you can add the Next.js package as well. And here's an example of how you use it. You create an env file where you create your env. If you have a client prefix, like in Next.js, you can have next public. You can specify here, these are the client only environment variables. And this is the prefix that they're all expected to have. And everything else is assumed to be a server environment. And as we scroll here, you can see it's pretty easy to use this. You just import env from this case, they have a path alias for the tilde slash. And now you have your environment variables guaranteed to be validated. And if you use the next package, I'm assuming it just wraps things automatically. I'm not sure if it's actually smart enough to do that. Here's the further config. Unlike the core package, runtime env is strict by default, meaning you have to restructure all the keys manually. This is due to how next bundles environment variables and only explicitly access variables are included in the bundler. My only concern here is that I don't know if this solution will validate on build, but I'm certain that Julius was smart enough for that to be the case. And there's only one way to be sure. Let's test it. People are saying it validates on build. Well, let's go make a new project with it regardless. Yeah, you should add the import in next config. That's what I was thinking. We're actually going to do something you might not expect. We're going to create next app at latest with it. We'll do a env test. I'm going to use the app directory because it's the only way I know how to code in next anymore. Let's go install this package. So the example uses pnpm, but I was lazy. I just used npm here. So I'm going to copy paste npm install. God, it's so much slower than PMPM. I'm way too spoiled. Now that we have the package, let's go configure it. Examples, pretty simple. But if we go here, we can yoink env dot. So let's change these up a bit. We'll do server only z dot string dot min. We'll say it has to be five characters. And we'll have next public client to z string dot emoji. What's the difference with runtime environment? So you have to put them all in here as well. Is that correct? Ah, that's actually clever because next is stupid. That is a, an annoying quirk with how bundling is working with it. I'm happy it's down to just this one quirk, but I'm hopeful that if we, we show this to the next team, they can help us figure something out. Otherwise, you won't have them on the edge. This will work for node bundles, but it won't work for edge because that sounds like a bug and I can get them to fix that. This is an example of one of the weird things we have to do to get around next bundling patterns, but I'm committed to getting the team to fix that. So in the future, we might not even need this, but for now it's the, the one remaining wart. Yeah, so by the sounds of it, this is optional if you're not using Edge. Good to hear. Anyways, let's actually use it. So this is a server component example because it's using the app router, which means it's pretty easy to see things that are server only because by default, everything is server only. So if in here I was to const thing equals, that's silly. And here is server only. So if I was to console.log only on server, thing and we were to go run this npm run dev yeah this is what i was concerned about it's not checking there but this isn't going to be valid and if we go to localhost 3000 y'all will see that it's going to error because there's an invalid environment variable we don't have this server only or the client only thing however it didn't error during build and i personally would really like it to error during build so how do we fix that by going to the next config.js <sighs> too easy to rename that as next config ts Nope, I'm not smart enough to solve this problem. Just MJS it. That's an easy enough solution. Again, this is why I miss create T3 app and I need to go back because it makes all of these decisions correctly. Can't, somebody said this can be TS. Now I'm just going to next config TS. Wrong file. Nice. Oh, wait, no. Can, I thought it was, I thought it could be TS. Why did I think that? God damn it. Dot MJS it is. Nice. Cool. And, uh, We'll be sure to make the docs nice and clear so stupid people like myself don't have to run into all these problems. 
make sure that your environment variable stuff is .mjs, both the next config as well as the file where you create these things because next config doesn't support TypeScript yet. <sighs> Anyways, what we can do, well, more importantly, when we try and build, we'll now see it fails because the environment variables aren't here, which is really convenient, especially when you're onboarding new developers to your team who might not be familiar with the environment and might not have everything set up correctly. Now they get a very clear and obvious error that these environment variables are missing. So let's go add them real quick new file dot env dot local. So this one's supposed to be, I think I said five plus characters. So nope, is not that long. And the other one's supposed to be an emoji. So we will also make this one nope. So let's run this again. And we'll see now we're getting different errors. Server only, string must contain at least five characters and next public client is an invalid emoji. Very useful getting real errors in here. Like as soon as you run the project the first time, you don't even get to the point where it's running and then you run into a weird error halfway through you would just immediately get told how to handle this. So now let's fix it and actually use these things. So longer string and then this one an emoji. And now, <sighs> export defaults, yep, thank you. Again, just use create T3 app. Don't, don't do my stupid decision here. But now this works and if it works to build, then it will also work in the build. And here I'm not rendering anything, but we can see here only on server, longer string. And if I wanna use that on client, since that's a server component, actually I'll just show you guys in the console here, that doesn't log because it's a server component that only runs on server. And if you were to try to access this on client, you would get an error. And if I just put this here, it will go to client, but it will never log because again, server components. So the only way to leak your environment variables with this is to return them in the markup or as a prop that gets sent to the client. Pretty hard to do. Really nice overall. I've been impressed. And obviously if we do our env.next public client too, then we got our emoji. Pretty dope, right? I think this is huge. If you haven't already, go check out env.t3.gg. You can also check us out on GitHub and I will be sure to put that link in the description. So please check us out, give us a star. This package is awesome. And it's so cool taking the best lessons we have learned from Create T3 app and bring those to the rest of the JavaScript ecosystem. There are very few projects that wouldn't benefit from something like T3 environment and I highly recommend checking it out. If you wanna learn more about our philosophy with Create T3 app, I'll pin a video in the corner here where I talk more about that. Thank you guys as always, peace nerds.